Starting a blog is a big and exciting step on your journey to making money online. So of course, you're probably gonna feel the need to choose a catchy blog name that you'll love. Now choosing a catchy blog name you'll love is important because it's gonna be the forefront of your brand. It's how everyone is gonna know you. So of course, you wanna be totally in love with it and proud to rep it out in public. And you may have a ton of ideas running around in your head for what you wanna call your blog, or you may be coming up totally blank. But either way, this video is gonna give you the tips and tricks of how to come up with a catchy blog name that you'll love. Now the first question you may have is how important important is your blog's name. And honestly, it's relatively important. It's not the most important thing in the world, but it is going to be the forefront of your business. So I think it is pretty important to find something that you like and something that represents your business and tells your readers and your audience what your blog and your business is actually about. Because there's a lot of places you're going to expect to be using your blog name. If you decide to register it as a business in the future, that could be your blog name. It's going to be your social media handles, typically your email address, your YouTube channel like mine, if you choose to start one, and it's going to be your domain name name, which is the .com of your site. However, the good news is nothing is set in stone. So if you decide down the line that your name no longer serves you, it no longer fits you, or you no longer like it, you are allowed to change it. My business used to be called Business Women Thrive, and I eventually changed it over to Sarah Marie. So don't stress over the name too hard because it can be changed. The first step to choosing a blog name is writing down all of the words that you associate with your blog. What is your blog about? Who is the audience that you're targeting? Like write down everything you could think of that matches up with your brand, your style, your blog, or your audience. And if you can't think of a lot, try to look up some words that you can associate with the words that you've already chosen and see if you can get a bigger list to choose from. And you can also include your name if you want, like I have. It doesn't need to be specifically just your name like mine is, but if your brand is centered around you, you could maybe match it up with another word and come up with a blog name from there. Step two is to start putting those words together, mashing them up, seeing what you like, seeing what fits, what matches your style, and just trying to come up with a name based off of the words that you are going to put together and have already thought about. So for example, my blog was called Business Women Thrive because I am here to do just that, helping business women thrive. It was extremely self-explanatory and it completely encapsulated exactly what I was trying to do with my blog. So it's best to start mixing up words, saying them out loud, thinking about how they feel together, seeing if it sounds good. And you can also include your name, as I mentioned, if you want to do like Baking with Betty or Savvy Saving Sarah. It doesn't necessarily need to be an alliteration like that, but I personally think they sound kind of cool. So if you can think of something along the lines of that or just, you know, traveling with Sarah or whatever with your name in it, if you want to do that, then that can be a good blog name too. And step three is to check if the domain name is available. Before you get super attached to your blog name, before you've decided this is the one and I absolutely love it, you need to make sure that your name isn't taken yet because if it is, you're gonna be a little bit disappointed. Now, I personally do a quick Google search to see if there are any big accounts on social media, books, games, or anything else associated with the name that I chose because that way down the line, you won't have any problems if someone has a name like yours. And then the next step would be to use SiteGround's domain checker to see if your name is up for grabs. I will link that down below in the description, but make sure you don't buy it yet because you are just simply checking to see if your name that you like is available. Because you don't want to purchase a name that you aren't sure on yet, especially if you're debating between a few names. So just go on to SiteGround, I'll leave the link down below, and see if that name is actually available. But once you do choose a blog name that you like, you can buy it through SiteGround with domain and hosting, because if you're just starting a blog, you're also going to need hosting. And SiteGround is the hosting company that I always recommend, because it's the one that I have been using for quite a few years. And it's a good idea to buy your hosting and your domain name from the exact same place, so that everything is organized and you can manage it all at once. But if you are choosing between a few, then you wanna narrow down your options and pick one. Now, hopefully this is gonna be the easiest part of the process for you because all you have to do is choose a blog name and then purchase it with SiteGround. But there are a few things that you wanna look out when trying to choose a blog name. So let's go over those before you make your final decision. Now, the good news is your domain name does not have to be a .com. When you go to purchase your domain name with SiteGround, you'll see that there are a bunch of options for the extension that you can use at the end of your blog. .com, .blog, .org, .net, all kinds of different stuff. .com is definitely the one that you should look out for. It's the most common, it's the cheapest, but sometimes you just can't get it with the name that you want. For example, with my blog, mine is sarahmarie.blog because the .com version of my name was taken. But the important part here was it wasn't taken by an active site. So I looked up ceremony.com. It doesn't exist. It isn't a site. I think someone was buying up popular domain names and then selling them back for a super high price. Either that or it's SiteGround, 
knows that ceremony.com, it's a common name. Someone might want to use it as their website. They might have raised the price for that reason with the .com. So my name was not being used actively. It was just being sold for a ridiculous price. However, ceremony.blog was not taken and it was not being sold for a ridiculous price. So I was able to get that. Now, usually if the .com isn't available, you maybe want to switch the name totally so that you can get a .com, but I was really attached to the idea of having my name as my URL, so I went with the .blog and it is fine. But you do wanna be careful when you do this because you don't want the .com version to be taken and being actively used and then you choose a dot blog. Like you don't wanna get your names confused. So do some research before you do that if this scenario even comes up. If not, if you really want a dot com, then you just need to switch your blog name or make sure that the site isn't being actively used by someone before you choose the dot blog version. And you don't wanna make your blog name too complicated because you want your blog name to roll off the tongue. You want it to be easy to remember because you want people to talk about it and think about you because that's how your business is gonna make money. So make sure that your blog name is easy to spell, it's not too long, and it is easy to remember. And you also wanna keep any weird symbols out of your names, hyphens, inappropriate words, profanity, numbers, things like that. And a good idea to do is write out your blog name as one word and make sure that it doesn't spell something unintentionally that you weren't expecting it to spell. Or if it just spells something, like someone could read it as something else because typically people are gonna see your blog name as one word because that's what the URL is, a URL is always one word. So for example, I see this blog all the time on Pinterest. It's called a point of light, but for whatever reason, my brain reads it as a point of flight. Now that could just be my weird brain and like you can't control everybody reading your blog name properly, but like Sarah Marie, no one is reading that as something different, you know? So like I might get somebody else to look at it and be like, what does this word look like to you? Like, does this look okay? all together like that and just like second set of eyes see how somebody else reads it because like I said that could just be my weird brain reading it as a point of flight but I read it that way every single time I see it and you might not want that happening in, in your blog domain name so just make sure. You also don't want to pigeonhole yourself and come up with a blog name that is too narrow so that you feel like you can't write about anything else. Now typically I mean, honestly, people probably aren't really going to notice that much. Like if your blog name is one thing and you're writing about another, most people probably won't notice or care. It's mostly just a you mindset. Like for me, when my name was Business Women Thrive, I felt really restricted to only business things and I wanted to do more. So I ended up changing it. And if you're doing like something like a travel blog, you don't want to name it after that single trip you took to England, especially if you never plan on going back there again, if you plan on traveling to a lot of places. Now, maybe if you are like centered in England and you only plan on doing stuff in England, you can name it something along the lines of that. But you know, you want to keep it a little bit broad so that you could write about whatever you want and you have room to expand and grow in the future. But overall, your blog name is mostly for you. It is also for your readers though, in the sense that that's how they're going to interact with your business online. It may give them a better insight into your blog, but I have seen blog names that really don't match what's happening on the blog and they do just fine. For example, I was reading a blog the other day called Thin Savvy Panda and she writes about saving money and other things. And in one of her blog posts, she actually talks about people emailing her and asking her, why pandas? Like, what did you choose pandas for? And she's like, I have no idea. I just chose it. And it's okay, that blog is doing fantastic. So it's all right if your blog name doesn't 100% align with everything, it's mostly for you. Maybe people will notice, but it's probably really not gonna hinder your overall growth. So just know that it's okay with whatever you choose and it can be changed later if you really hate it. So it's better to just stop agonizing, pick one, and move on. And if you wanna learn how to start your dream blog in 2024 and make money, make sure to check out this video right here. Like this video if you like, and subscribe to my channel down below for more videos just like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye.